You can use the fork. Okay. My name is Killian, and I'm from Bellevue East. My name is Sophia Burton, I'm from Bellevue East. My name is Aislinn Holcomb, and I'm from Bellevue East. My name is Silver, and I'm from Bellevue East. Hip hip! with flashes of the dead and memories of my murders. It doesn't help that they choose to play boa, they squeeze me tighter and tighter until I'm ready to pop. Tickle me pink when they give me more, I act as if I'm surprised. Send me back to the railroads, factories, and offices right after I fought for my life, their lives, and those deserved. Only care for my labor, not thinking about my family. They say I should be glad to have my job, to think that my son will get the same treatment, to think he'll go to war just to come back and work some more. They don't care, so why should I? Hello, good day, my name is Beatrice. I'm here to keep my husband happy. I love cleaning our home and taking care of my children. My, my husband is my world. I'm not allowed to think of anything else but making him happy. But, but I'm, I'm not complaining. complaining. Complaining is unladylike. What if he needs to complain more than I do? I'm, I'm scared, scared to, to mutter a word. word. Mary down the street, she complained too much. Her husband got got her little surgery done. She's fine now. The last time I saw her, her eyes were soulless, like a cage of hurt and sorrow locked deep in her mind. She seems to have lost it. It slipped away from her, just out of reach from her curled hands. She has an indefinite smile that is not a smile, but a staple gesture. I don't think she knows that she's smiling, so I'm scared that I will end up like her, but for now I will stand by my husband, for he is my world. The world was made for me, a popular guy, my whole future lined up for me, not afraid to make mistakes because, oh, don't worry, nothing a little money in a well-placed smile can't fix. I don't know what would happen if I pushed, pushed the limits. Maybe then they would look at me, me, not the fake image I'm forced to put on. I don't have any interest of my own. We like sports, girls, money, and upholding our wonderful family image, but it's cracking every day. They think I don't see and sometimes I wish I didn't the way my mother shakes, my sister's baggy clothes, my father. My exterior is cracking. Every day I go to school expected to uphold my family name every day. Nine to five, but it's fine. I won't complain. I'm lucky, I guess. Better miserable than ostracized. Speaking out gets you killed whether by someone else's hands or your own every day. Every day I put on my dress and each month that goes by my stomach gets bigger and bigger, dismissing myself in class, my lunch coming back up. I never stopped remembering what had happened three months prior. But I mustn't mutter, mutter a word. word. Just six more months and maybe I can leave him on a doorstep. Why, if only there was a way to undo the mess I didn't even make. If I did tell, I'd need to be wed the next day. I wish it wasn't true. I ache from the memory. I'm scared to. To bring life into a world so lifeless. Let it never be known it was me. Yes, me, the mother. Now I'll never get married. He'll know i have been touched by another. But it wasn't my fault. It's too late now. Daddy delivers me repulsive looks right before school, taking me to school. Mother won't even glance at me. How could I have been such a fool? If only there was a way, if only there was a pill. My silence is violent and labor time is near, and the only thing allowing me to sleep is my tears.